Trying to escape, <laughs> little friend. Okay, honestly, I did not see that one coming. DJI, the company behind uh, the most iconic drones, have now made a robot vacuum cleaner. It's called the DJI Romo, the smart, transparent robot vacuum that thinks like a drone. Yes, you heard that right. DJI has taken the same kind of sensors and navigation tech that they use in their drones, LiDAR, obstacle sensing, and use that for precision mapping and brought that into your home. Potentially. <laughs> this is, according to DJI, world's first fully transparent vacuum. And DJI says this is their first step into smart living. It's packed with some serious cool features, like millimeter level obstacle sensing with drone technology, dual robotic arms for 100% edge and corner coverage, customizable mopping with tailored liquid cleaners, dual anti-tangle roller brushes for long hair pickup, three-stage sound suppression filtering 80% of the noise, and 25,000 Pascal suction power. And from what I'm told, that's a lot of suction. And it even has a self-washing base station that can go up to 200 days without maintenance. Task ended. So this thing is doing a lot more than vacuuming. I had the Romo running for a few days now, and in this video, I will share my first impressions. What it's like to live with, what works, and what areas needs a little bit more improvement. Let's dive in. When I first unboxed it, I was curious. I never owned a robot vacuum before, so this was completely new territory for me. Here this. But the setup was surprisingly simple. You plug it in, put this one, plug it in, drop in the cleaning capsules, that's the same procedure. Fill in a bit of water in the fresh water tank. You fill that with clean water. And then you connect it to the app through easy to follow instructions. Let's go into the Press room. button on top of base station. Press start at the base station. Bluetooth pairing, oh, okay. Then the first task that it needs to do is to get familiarized with the environment. The app suggests that you make sure that there is a plenty of lighting while it's doing the mapping. So I made sure of that. So, hello. <laughs> so it scans the room using the LiDAR and vision sensors. And it does that even uh, without getting close to objects. So I guess it's learning now. It just glides around avoiding things. And I guess it doesn't need to go absolutely close to the obstacles because it has sensors that will tell it what it can do. That process uh, took around five minutes and it already had my living room and kitchen map which were the areas that I have defined for this test. And to make sure that it didn't escape into other parts of the house, I did close the doors Apart from that, it went smooth and easy and it didn't get stuck anywhere. The design in the version that I have received is completely transparent. Both the base unit and the vacuum itself. So you literally see the gears, the rollers moving inside. So if you're into tech, this is kind of fun to watch. Like a little drone cruising around on your floor. I do want to mention that you can get it in a full white version as well, where both the vacuum and the base station are white. And you can get it in a mix where it's uh, only the, the vacuum is transparent. DJI reuse a lot of their drone technology here, like obstacle avoidance, lighter sensors, cameras to obtain millimeter level precision. It moves incredibly close to objects, cables, chair legs, and even small toys without bumping into anything. It's really fascinating to watch. On the base station, you can open the front door and replace the cleaning capsules and you can empty the dust bag when needed. And I also need to be transparent here. I haven't gotten to the level where I needed to empty the dust from the unit. So I don't know if you just empty the bucket or dust bag removed the filler or if you just replace it with a new one like you do on a regular vacuum cleaner. Dust bag installed. You can probably already tell now that I am generally impressed with the unit. But there is one catch, door thresholds. Roma can't handle uneven floor transitions. When it tries, it gets stuck halfway. That's where it would struck. And this was also one of the reasons why I closed the door during the mapping process and limited the test to be the kitchen and the living room. So I need to figure how to get around that. So once I started doing that, it worked great. But that's definitely something that you need to be aware of. 
At one point, um, I left the door open while I was vacuuming uh, the living room. And I don't know, maybe it was a little bit tired of all the work that I was put, putting the Romo to do. So it tried to escape at some point into my office. It got stuck halfway onto the threshold. And then at some point it gave up. It somehow <laughs> managed to recover and continuing the vacuuming in the living room. Trying to escape, <laughs> little friend. Because the Romo uses TGI's obstacle avoidance technology, it's seriously advanced. If you dive into the menu in the app, you will find a section that's called obstacle avoidance settings. Here you can turn on smart obstacle avoidance, so it avoids things like cables and slippers. There's on-site photos, which takes a quick snapshot whenever it meets something that's unusual. And there's a liquid detection, so it can spot wet areas and decide whether to skip them. There's a boosted cleaning for particles. Great for stuff like sand and cat litter. It slows down and increases the suction power automatically. I actually noticed that part uh, when uh, it was trying to yeah, sort of decrease uh, the kitchen floor. It sort of picked up on a spot that was uh, particularly harsh to get clean and put in some extra effort. Are you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I mostly left mine on the default settings for now. I have been testing in my living room and kitchen and so far it has been doing a great job. It vacuum, it mops and it drives itself back to the base to empty, clean and dry and even disinfect the pads. So it's ready for the next round. DJI claims up to 200 days maintenance free use. I can't confirm that yet as I've only tested it for a few days. But I imagine you still need to top off the fresh water container and empty the dirty liquid container if you're using the mopping function on a regular basis. When I pulled out the container with the dirty fluid, I was honestly surprised by the color. It's clearly doing some serious cleaning. It got dual robotic arms that reaches into corners. Ooh, you're filthy. You're dirty. And it has anti tangy brushes that handles uh, long hair really well. I'm not really sure that my hair is long enough <laughs> to test <laughs> that part. It's really, really fascinating to see it navigate a rather complex path. With 25,000 pascals of suction power, it's surprisingly powerful. But even with three stage noise suppression, supposedly being able to remove 80% of the noise, my wife still thinks it's too loud. <laughs> But honestly, she should hear herself while she's sipping around with the regular vacuum cleaner while I'm trying to get work done here, like for instance, recording a video. So yeah, we do not exactly agree on that point. Another thing that I want to point out, when it's in standby mode, it's kind of making this uh, humming sound. I'm not sure why, it's not loud, but it's noticeable if it's uh, near your TV or your desk where you're sitting to work. That's definitely something to think about when you're placing the base station. And when it comes to the wife acceptance test, it hasn't quite passed yet. She says the base station is too big and bulky to have in her living room. Start cleaning. And to be perfectly fair, I get that. But we agreed that we will be uh, keeping it there for a test period or the next coming weeks. And if it keeps the floors clean enough and her workload down, maybe it will earn a permanent spot. We'll see about that. The big test was my kitchen floor because that is a bit tricky. The surface is old and has some marks from uh, different tools that have been dropped. There's also some lacquer spills from when I refinished the living room floor. Those can't be removed unless I need to replace uh, the, sort of the surface. So we can't do anything about that. I did notice there was an area around the refrigerator uh, that needed some extra cleaning that wasn't really done properly yesterday when the it was doing the vacuum and the mopping test. So I tried the degrease mode there just to see if it could handle that. It actually did a decent job and put in some extra work in that area. Even though that it was better, it still needs some manual love in that spot or some repetition. Maybe if I repeated it a few times, it would get completely clean. But I think it, a better solution would be that you actually manually clean those spots, those harsh spots before you put the Romo into action. And then it'll make sure afterwards to keep everything at a nice uh, level, nice clean level. The app is brand new and is honestly one of the coolest parts about this product. You can see a full map of uh, where the Romo has cleaned. This is making this nice pattern so you can see that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. 
You can also draw custom cleaning zones right on the map. If you're not happy with the spot, just select the area and tell Romo to redo it. And that part is pretty easy. You just go in here and select the, the drone here, and uh, not the drone, the Romo. Then zoom in on the area here. This was the area where I had the stain in the kitchen. I just select this area here, select one time cleaning. Now it's on its way to perform the task. So I can just enable the, the remote video down here and then I have a code. So not everybody can do it. See? <laughs> so now it's going to the location in the kitchen where it needs to do uh, some extra work. So I'm finding the spot. Is it trying to escape? No. <laughs> so it's performing the task. I can stop the task here so I can basically look around if I want to. I can also drive forward and then I can continue the task again. <laughs> this is super fascinating. Okay, so let's uh, let it uh, finish the task here. So it's like a first person drone view just on the floor. You have a ton of settings in here. You can schedule cleanings, you can change uh, suction power, you can switch between vacuum or mop mode. DJI clearly brought over a lot of uh, their experience developing software for drones for this product. And the app is super, super easy to use, even though there's a lot of features to play around with. And if you like me to make another video where I go through all these settings, then write DJI Romo in the comments below. And if enough comments are down there, I'll make a full walkthrough. I think it's very exciting to see DJI move in this direction, taking their tech and putting it to use in our homes. Even though I only had Romo running here for a short time, it already feels like a statement product. Where it's not just about cleaning, but what happens if you take more advanced technology and then put it to good use in our homes. If you want to see how well this product performs over time, and if it eventually passes the wife acceptance test, then make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and stay tuned as I will update you in the coming weeks. If you're interested in getting your own DJI Roma, there will of course be a link where you can purchase it in the description below. As of recording this video, I'm not aware of the price of this product, but of course I will make sure to update the description once I know that. And as usual, this product was sent to me for a review by DJI. So I will encourage you to see more reviews other than this one, so you can make an educated decision if this is a product for you or not. But of course, I will be happy if you decide to use my purchase link in the description below as this supports the channel. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.